five evolution. Uh, I don't think we really have any intro thing at all today, so let's just kick it right off to Mario Kart Tour. Julian, you're the Mario Kart fanatic of the uh, the group. What say you? <sighs> okay, um, some I'm not a huge mobile gamer, but Mario Kart Tour is the new mobile uh, game that Nintendo is reportedly going to do in the future. Um, I don't know if we have like any major details about it. We just know it's a Mario Kart game for mobile platforms. And I think they uh, slated a 2018 release date. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's releasing in 2018. So I wonder... Uh, I mean, I'm not too excited for it because it's... I, I'm kind of one of those people who view like mobile games as like not real games, you know. <laughs> you guys why know not? That. Why not? Though? <laughs> I agree. Because... I agree. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. It's just a lot of the mobile games that I've seen use a lot of like microtransactions to, you know, get you yeah, fishing for whales. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like Mario Kart. You know, I I like Mario Kart Eight. Um, my favorite is probably DS. But yeah, again, I'm not that excited for this. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like racers well lend themselves well to mobile platforms. Yeah, like how exactly would you play this? Is this? I mean, are you just gonna like hold a direction arrow on your smartphone and then? Yeah, it's gonna be probably just... have to tear the phone. Oh please! Eh. Oh god! <laughs> like, like it probably accelerates for you, and then you have yeah. like on-screen buttons for like. There's like probably a slow down button, like a drift button, an item button, and then you I tilt your. I they take I decide to <laughs> turn. Well, do they have enough buttons for like jump, and then you have to hold jump to drift and an item button and i don't know if like there's enough space for all that i mean you only really need an item an item button one jump slash drift button and one stop button what else do you need uh you need an item release button i mean that could be the same button right you you click and hold it to hold it behind you and then let go of it to release it that's all so you need to like pick it or like choose choose you know or like activate it that's what we're trying to say yeah but you only need one button you yeah. you you tap the button yeah. and that like you know activates the item and then if you let go of the button it releases it so i think three you can get away with three buttons i mean people put like gamecube emulators and stuff on phones and play with on-screen controls oh yeah so. yeah that's true <laughs> So you had you got that's, like a but, joystick. But this is, this and is like, while you're tilting your phone, though. Yeah, so three buttons is probably fine. That's the difference. What if what if they yeah, offer I mean, like, a joystick option so you don't have to tilt it? Do you think you think they're going to be like different, like courses, like as advanced as other Mario Kart games? Or there there can't be one course. There's yeah. got to be a decent amount of course. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's going to cost money, right? Like their other apps? I don't know. <laughs> they could go the Mario Run route. Yeah, and just charge like six bucks. Ten dollars for an actual game. Except Mario Run's like not an actual game. But anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I never understood the hype behind Mario Run. It It doesn't look like that fun of a game. You just tap on the screen and then Mario jumps. It has Yoshi in it. What's there not to love? Yoshi's in the game. I didn't even know that. <laughs> it, it, I, I will give it. It is a like, it's a well adapted game for the form factor. Like, yes. it's a Mario game yes. with one button. That's that's pretty clever. Like they act, but yeah. Mario Kart, Mario Kart. Like, I don't know how they could possibly like reinvent Mario yeah. Kart to work on a smartphone without either dumbing it down or making the controls like, ostensibly hard to use. <laughs> Time will tell. It's Nintendo. You never know with them. They are selling cardboard. 
<laughs> they are selling cardboard now. They're in they're in the business. <laughs> Their customers selling. are cats. <laughs> they're cats. That's it. We sold them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cats. Just like how Skyrim was made by crabs, Nintendo was cats. <laughs> crabs? <laughs> Why was Skyrim um, made by crabs? Have you used their menus? <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. All right, I say. Yeah, so it's it's reportedly a spinoff. It's not like a traditional Mario Kart game. I don't think they're gonna make Mario Kart Nine for. Well, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite expecting that, but. Yeah. I don't know what I, yeah, I think that's like all we know about it. It's slated to release between April 2018 and March 2019. And it's a spinoff. And like, that's it. <laughs> they can convince me on the controls. It could actually be decent. Maybe. Maybe. The, the, uh, I don't know. Phones, phones do have a lot of potential to be like halfway decent gaming devices. They're, they're pretty powerful. Someone actually got like. I forget the game, but they have an actual fighting... Oh, Injustice 2, right? They have an actual fighting game on the phone. Not near license death or something with a fight stick. They can do, like, light, medium, and heavy attacks and start comboing into them. So, yeah. It's not just the game where you tap the screen? Like, tap, stuff tap, happens? Tap, slide, and hold. Okay, yeah. It's only a matter of time before someone makes a smartphone that's, like... It's, like, turned sideways with, like, one of those, like, old, you know phones that like where the keyboard slid out but then instead of a keyboard it's going to be like a whole gamepad and stuff like you a know you've got, you, yeah you've got your joysticks and your buttons and you'll have triggers and all that so the nvidia shield does the nvidia shield do that i don't know i think i don't know what i don't know what ds but it's not but it's not a i'm i mean but like a phone like it's, it's just built into the phone yeah it's only a matter of time. I saw somebody f plugging a fight stick to his phone and make it make it work. Yeah, yeah. Plugging a fight stick. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. They're, they're, they sell controllers for phones. Like some games support like Xbox controller on like Android phones. <laughs> so you can play your games that you play or something. I don't know. <laughs> that, only, that only makes sense for like emulated games. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly, I think, oh, people mostly use it for emulators. Hmm. I'm not playing Mario with a Luigi Superstar Saga with a freaking touchscreen. There are people who do. Or, or, or on the phone. Probably just get the new DS one. <laughs> that costs money, though. <laughs> okay, well... Well, I mean, you could just pirate. I mean, I mean, sorry, we <laughs> we only we do not condone illegal activity on the show. Moving on, the Super Mario True. Bros. movie. I ab I know absolutely nothing about this, Julian. You know, this at at some point, yep. we should have a piracy talk, a, a real talk. <laughs> That's true. We could have a whole episode on that. Oh, Easy. Yeah, let's do that next week. Okay. Okay. Sure. A Mario Bros. movie. Um. It's... Didn't they make one of those a long time ago and it was, like, terrible? Yeah, it's got all. Yeah, it's, that was a live-action movie. But this one is made by uh, Illumination Entertainment, the same so... guys who made uh, Minions and Secret Life of Pets. So I and don't it's animated. Be watching this, is what you're saying. <laughs> They've made good movies, like Despicable Me. Yeah, Despicable Me is fine. Okay. But I have low hopes for it because, you know, they made Minions and... <laughs> No, okay, okay, okay. You can't blame them for it. That that was just like raking in free money. If you're Pretty offered true. if you're offered like millions in free money, you take it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. And now they're gonna try to do the same thing with Super Mario Bros. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna make it a merchandising. Well, how how do you? Yeah. It's already <laughs> I mean <sighs> Already can buy um, Mario merchandise. They, they they're well, not inventing anything new. We're just gonna get a big old cutscene. That's gonna be okay. Well, I mean, I what could the movie possibly be about? Uh, there was a, there was a Mario anime. There was so a Mario it's possible anime. To like, yeah, it's possible to make a story out of it. I guess it's really simple. You know. 
I don't know, just, just and why not to save her? It just seems like, yeah, any story would be kind of contrived. <laughs> like, there's not much to the Mario lore. There's more if you, like, dig under the... Under the... Yeah, like how, how everyone in the first Mario game was turned into blocks, then Mario went and killed them all. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually in the instruction manual. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Nintendo Nintendo was a different yeah, game back then. <laughs> or how Mario actually punches Yoshi in, in Super Mario World. That's confirmed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah, he how, gives... uh, the... I forget his name, but he uh, he claims he gave birth to Bowser Jr. It was like, I'm Bowser Jr.'s real mom. It was, uh, Wait, what? One of the top guys in Nintendo, whoever made Mario. It's mm. like I'm his mom. He came out of me. He came out of my. <laughs> Miyamoto is oh, yeah, and, uh, Bowser Junior's mother. Birdo's uh, actually a man. Hey, this is America. That's not true. Okay. Uh, Yoshi is genderless, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, Yoshi yeah. has no gender. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you could go for a woman to see lays eggs, but there's no men then, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is there a woman without a man? I mean... I'm asking the big pictures here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, if I had a kid, you had I'm a sure kid. I'd be excited. Wait, what now? Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Take a what? step back. We gotta, you have a kid? I said if I had... Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'd be excited to watch the Mario <laughs> 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 it's a well kept secret. <laughs> have you been lying I, I, I don't have time? a kid. If if uh, I don't know. I did you walk out of them already? I'll probably no. I'll probably watch it. I will probably pay kid? money to go see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know both <laughs> Julian's kid and the Mario movie. <laughs> well, I hadn't heard about this until ten minutes ago, and I'm going to keep pretty much keep it that way <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why not when's the last time Money? there was a mario movie to see in theaters when's the last time there was a good mario movie to see in theaters probably never never it depends on what you mean by good it is certainly a fun watch <laughs> the old You've mario yeah i don't remember <laughs> no. anything i don't remember anything about it <laughs> to be honest i just remember it was hilarious you definitely, it's definitely not a movie you can watch alone and find any enjoyment in it. You just have to walk <laughs> it with a group of people and just like yeah. circle so jerk about how movie. shitty it is, bad it is. Politics. So basically, you have to watch it ironically. Yeah, you have yeah. to watch it ironically. You have to watch it ironically. It's, it's, it's then, like, yeah, that, that only works with a group of people. Yeah, it's only like, watch, it's like watching The Room or like, yeah, Ido or whatever. It falls in the same vein. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we already talked about our experience with mobile gaming. Like, right? We don't. None of us are really mobile gamers. You don't. Those games yeah. are pretty much just slot machines. I recently downloaded Plants vs. Zombies, but, like, I already beat that game. But, that, you know, I just downloaded that, it again because I, I love it. You're, you're, you're pretty behind on that train there. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Most no, of I, them are. It's like 2005. Yeah. Most of them are just grindy, and, like, grinding isn't fun. Yeah, I I used to play some oh. of those games like Doodle Jump and uh, no, I don't mean those. Too. Those are fine. Most of those games are tiny just tower slot machines, the, the gacha stuff. Yeah, I mean, Temple I'll... Run. Temple Run's good. It's a quality game. It's decent. It, it was... gets kind of boring after a while. Yeah, but it was fine because it's free, so you just throw it away and never play it again. Yeah. Like, it's not like you paid for it and you feel like some, like, man, I should probably get some value out of it. <laughs> That's that is the one nice thing about the mobile gaming market is you can you can get a decent amount of entertainment for without spending any actual money. But, like... You depends on the games. Place. Yeah, there's there's some good tap-tap game. Yeah, but just just don't buy games. On phone, and then you're fine. 
Do you know what yeah, I mean? It depends on the game. There's there are some games where you just like do nothing and people like them or something. Like you just like tap yeah what? things like cookie clicker where you just click on oh. stuff. Like you just tap on stuff. There's there's ones that are even worse where it's like it's like not even idle. It's like actually you just have to mash a button. Or well, that's because you can do that at work for like five minutes. But then there's like games where you just like merge giraffes, and that's the game. You see, you know, you just take you take two giraffes that are the same. You drag one on top of the other, and they merge into a bigger giraffe. And it's just exponential. Then it takes two of those giraffes to make the next tier giraffe, and you, you keep going until you have like the king of giraffes or whatever. That that's the game, and it, you have to merge like hundreds of thousands or millions of giraffes or whatever <laughs> like i don't know so don't is know. this a meme or is there like actually money involved in this no there, this is an actual yeah there's money there's money involved like people like like buy money to get like like you know tokens and stuff in game to like upgrade their giraffes faster and like see that's interesting because like why <laughs> i i have <laughs> There, you don't get anything out of this other than different looking giraffes and like higher tiers of giraffes, and it, it gets kind of like, ridiculous. Like there are a lot of tiers. Look, as long as my giraffes are better than yours, and I can lord it over you, I'm fine with spending money on it. Fine with spending money, so or fine with spending a lot of time. Like I can understand why people would wail for certain gacha games, but giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and these they don't, do and they, they, they don't just have it for giraffes. You can get it for all sorts of different animals or other things. Like, oh, okay, make, hmm. just make money on this. Like See, all the apps, in your, they're in people's heads. The apps are the same. They're just different items, and I don't know. They they basically made one game with a bunch of different skins, and people just buy you know buy all the random crap in the game. And all, all the stuff you all the microtransactions are just to let you merge drafts faster, basically. This is what it comes down to. Yes, the dark so it does nothing in the game. Transactions. Yeah, it does nothing in the game, basically. Oh, okay. There, yeah. There's, well, there's I mean, no it, I guess it does do some. It does the only thing that you do in the game. I mean, it, it literally just saves time in making bigger giraffes, which requires it's it, there's no skill. It's just you just idly drag a, one draft to another, and that that, that that's it. Mm. I don't know. It's weird. Not all games have to be challenging, but that just sounds like a waste of money. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a game, really. It's just like it's like doing data entry. I, I mean, a lot of those <laughs> games are just kind of. Oh, I'm stuck at the bus stop. I want to do something, and instead of like reading Reddit threads, you go in and you drag giraffes around. Yeah, that's why you have the three but then but then it, it's fine until they ask you to pay for it and yeah like, and then why? and then people an do in the corner because people will yeah there, oh there's ads too trust me that thing's peppered with ads but they also have those like oh you can watch this 20 second ad and we'll give you some free gems that's fine at what point i'm not spending money yeah but then what, you're still at like what po- <laughs> at what point is it like why are, would you pay to watch an ad? Or why are you getting paid to watch an ad? That, isn't that the point of the ad to get you to buy something else? I, but you're yeah, but the advertiser the pays the developer to put the ad in there. Like, anywho, doesn't matter. Celeste impressions. Mobile gaming is the evil of gaming and it's should the be dark eradicated. Souls of gaming. This is Dark Souls and Gaming. That's a little strong. It's the, <laughs> it's the tow, or it's the uh, yeah, the the tow trucks of gaming. They're it's only the there cuphead to make, of, of they're gaming. Only, they're only there to make your life worse. <laughs> hey, people are people still drop mad cash on these mobile games. If you want to be a rich game dev, forget AAA titles. Forget being an indie developer. Make some crappy mobile game with some microtransactions, and you too can become a multimillionaire in like or you could a year. put all your time and money steal, in steal mortgage warp, your house and steal, make Cuphead. Steal but. the warp pipe from Mario and then just make a game where a bird flies around it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Flappy Bird. I played that too. 
Flappy Bird made no money. Oh yeah, the developer like rage quit. The guy got money. wrecked by all yeah. that money, all the ad revenue, in whatever country he lived in. See what 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 I was told on the internet was that he was living in Vietnam. Yeah, and he was living in a very bad area, and if and uh, he was pretty much just had a giant target on his back, and so he just went into hiding essentially. Mm. Yep, deleted the app, went into hiding. <laughs> it it ru- that 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 game ruined his life. Temporarily, anyway. Our Flappy Bird phones. I mean, it's hard to win. feel bad for him when he's got several million dollars over the oh, yeah, can, a couple weeks. Can I buy fla- a Flappy Bird <laughs> iPhone on eBay? <laughs> I remember that was a thing. Yeah. Let's see. Does he still live in Vietnam? In hiding? Yeah, there are there mm. are there are people who have who are trying to sell Flappy Bird on eBay, just like phones with Flappy Bird. No. Phone with Flappy Bird on it. Does that even have a market anymore? There are three right now on eBay. The cheapest is seven hundred. The most expensive, <laughs> four grand. I just don't understand. That game is so easy to make. There are thousands of clones. Play one of those. But it's not the original. <laughs> there, there is a clone in Warframe of it. Like they just threw some assets together and made the game. But it's not. But you can go and play Warframe and play that. You can't go download Flappy. I mean, you could, know. you could, you could just get an APK if you have an Android. Yeah, but on an iPhone, <laughs> if you want to have an iPhone with Flappy, it's a collector's item because it's rare. Exactly. It's a collector's item. Things that are rare are always collectors. If items. someone's willing to pay for it, then that it is worth that. No one is paying this. There, there's no one. There's no way anyone's paying this. If someone does, and it's worth whatever well, they sell for. That, you said there are three on eBay. What happened to the rest? Oh wait, I found, I found another one. That's on here for a hundred and seventy-five dollars, but it's on Android, so like, well, that's just a scam. <laughs> <laughs> if you oh, buy wait. that, then I don't know what to tell there's you. A, there's a hundred-dollar iPhone. There Is it go. broken? Oh, no, wait. Oh, sh- a fifty-dollar one. That has to. What kind of iPhone? Oh, it's like an iPhone like three GS or something. Oh well, that's like... yeah. <laughs> like maybe an iPhone four. I can't quite tell, but it's, if it's not broken. Apple will brick it for you. There's someone yeah. trying to sell a, a home NES Flappy Bird cartridge for fifty bucks. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so, where are we in our official list? <laughs> we are on right. Celestia. Uh, well, well, I know it's Celestia. I I don't know anything about it. Celeste, yeah, it's the it's the new indie game on Switch that Pretty much I heard is good. No, 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 nobody oh. knew anything about it until it launched, and then everyone was giving it perfect scores. They're like, "Oh my god, this game is amazing!" Yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right. I know what that is now. Well, well, I don't have a Switch, so I can't comment it's on, on it. It's on PC, so. Oh, it is. What? Well, I think it's on most consoles. Celeste. Oh, oh yeah, it's like the greatest thing ever. It's under. It's gonna be the next Undertale or something. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it looks good. I'm definitely gonna pick it. It looks like it's gonna be the next Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm gonna pick it up when it gets cheap. How much uh, is it now? Probably like twenty bucks. I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, it's twenty. If I wasn't playing both Fighters and Monster Hunter right now, I probably would have already picked it up. I might get it soon, maybe. I don't have a controller for PC. Never mind. You can get one for pretty cheap. Yeah. Like less than that game costs. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't you have a PS3 controller? Yeah. yeah you can also just use yeah, that. Yeah, you can use that. Right. Oh, okay. It just requires a little bit of effort. Oh, I have to install drivers, right? <laughs> oh, no. Follow me <laughs> guide and installing a few drivers. Oh, that's That's work. I Speaking of work, <laughs> getting over it. I don't know why this is on the topic list. This game is old as dirt, but like, why didn't we grade it out? Listen, I I spam topics. Okay, you can just <laughs> no one graded it out. Right, so here on. it is. All right, moving on. <laughs> Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh, Man. we are talking about this. Sure. Okay. Did anyone else see the trailer besides me? I didn't see the trailer, but I saw the first movie and it was meh. <laughs> Can't imagine it'll be worse than the first one. So they seem to. Uh, there are more action scenes in this, and like really playing up, like turning 
small things bigger thing, you know, they yeah. did in the first movie. Yeah. So, like, the opposite of what Ant-Man is supposed to be. He no, he can do Adam. both. Oh. He has now and will always be the Adam. <laughs> okay. I I I didn't see the trailer, so I got nothing to say. Uh, they're also playing up on Evo like... List 2018. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Evo 2018. For those who do not know, the lineup this year is Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, Tekken 7, Smash Wii U, Melee, Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle, Guilty Gear uh, X, Injustice 2. And Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Fighter Hide. Hmm, there seems to be a lack of a uh, of a game there. I just can't put my finger on it. When's so, Marvel? There are two. No, they, got, they, got, they got the superhero game. So the two <laughs> games, two games have been removed from the lineup: uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, a longtime veteran of Evo, and King of Fighters. But no one cares. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom getting dropped. It It has been there since the game's release forever ago. It's been I there mean, It's been there for most of Evo's existence. I mean, I don't know much about Marvel vs. Capcom, but my understanding is they really dropped the ball with that game, and that's just how it shows. It's more surprising that Infinite wasn't picked up by Evo, which is kind of funny, because, you know, we have Marvel is kind of ingrained in history. Our Marvel vs. Capcom 3 has, like, a much larger player base than, like, in, like... It does? Yeah. Infinite, then, Infinite's, then... like, the brawl of the Ultimate Marvel series. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that's, a, that's a funny comparison. <laughs> like, it has, like, a much smaller player base. It does not but get... Still, it like... does not bring the same views or audience as Ultimate Mar- Marvel 3. Like, straight up. There's still the FGC mentality, like LeBron was talking about that earlier, like picking up the newest game. Yeah, which is part yeah. of the reason why they're mad that Melee is still at Evo, uh, even though Melee came out 17 years ago. Which means oh, hey, their games had as much depth. I mean, Melee, <laughs> Melee is Melee is older than Evo is, so like. Yeah, we're all biased, so we all agree about Melee and we being put in Evo. I can understand the argument, but I eh. disagree. Smash 4 could be dropped. I, I get them not wanting to have two Smash games, but, like, get more players on your game? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if you look at last year's registration numbers, you had Street Fighter 4 at 2,600, Smash 4 at 1,500, Melee at 1,400, Tekken at 1,200, and then everybody else was below 900. So... yeah. Like, it's it's not that surprising that Smash is still around. It brings in the entrance, and it brings in the views. Like, I mean, Melee gets got more views than Smash 4. Uh, Street Fighter Five had the most views, of course, but... Yeah, yeah Melee had the second Street most. Fighter. And Melee had the second most, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it went Me- Street Fighter, then Melee, then Smash 4, then Tekken. It's also the argument that, like, Melee and Smash 4 just like completely different games like to the point where like they're not even like the same franchise if you get what i mean one one is a game that was accidentally a fighting game and another one is a game that was intentionally just was intentionally sabotaged <laughs> <laughs> no brawl I mean, I was, commonly hear about was uh, the intentionally com- sabotaged one yeah i, I, I commonly hear about either. them complaining about no parody in the characters in melee and the top eight is always the same that's like changing. Eight, eight to ten people. <laughs> I mean, is it but they want Ultimate Marvel community? versus Capcom back. Yeah, <laughs> Marvel had had that problem I, in a much worse scale. I don't think they want it back. I was looking at our cap earlier today. They were all just laughing <laughs> that Marvel versus Capcom got destroyed. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, with them. There, there, were, there were so many memes of like <laughs> dumping it in a trash can or something. And... <laughs> yeah, oh, this was good. It's, it's weird. It's like the like, it's it's kind of like Smash almost. Like the Marvel, the Ultimate Marvel fans, they have like a big community that loves the game, but like the rest of the FGC doesn't like that game. 
And it's sort of understandable if you've watched that. If you watched that game at Evo last year, it's it's hard. Yeah, to I don't watch. get it. It's, it's really. It's hard just to like watch. it's it's one character getting stuck in a in a corner, and then you just see them getting zeroed to death, and then that's like that's Marvel versus Capcom three. Well, especially because like the like the meta is like the best team in the game basically creates a bullet hell. Zero Morgan Doom. <laughs> yeah. And you just basically the other player, the other player, if they screw up and they get hit by anything in the bullet hell, they get zero to death, and that's the game. If they dodge well, it's everything it's a... for like a year, then they might eventually get an opening, <laughs> and then zero to death them, and then that, that's 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 the game. Well, that's the yeah. game at the highest level, anyway. I'm sure we're missing out on some high level technicalities. But... Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a very technical game, but the problem yeah. is it's like, you know, it's it's basically perfectly optimized. Once you start the combo, that's it. Like there's yeah, no, yeah, there's no you can't need, escape yeah. the combo. Yeah. Guaranteed combos all the way through. Yeah. I think they handle that better in fighters. The balance seems to be going towards you need roughly three hits to take out a character. And then unlike Marvel, every time you take out a character, the you gets reset to neutral. <laughs> Oh really? So, like the, so you don't so just you have, to, you, have, you have to win a neutral roughly nine times. <laughs> so you can't like like in Marvel where you start zero to deathing one character, you kill them, and then the, another character pops up, and you just continue your combo. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rough. Fighting games need DI. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't play that game competitively. I wouldn't get it. I don't get why the FGC hates platform fighters. It's not a traditional fighter. Dyna well, it's, see, it's, Melee ha has the potential. Have the, they have the worst communities. They do all these terrible stuff that, you know, it's not like the entire FGC has been renowned for its insane toxicity the entire time it's existed. No, no, it's Melee. Yeah, the the melee melee players players it's, it's those kids. <laughs> <laughs> and Melee players smell bad, too. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure the rest of the FGC I, I know, does I'm... not. <laughs> oh, please. It's like you're getting just thousands of sweaty dudes in the same room. <laughs> yeah. No, no amount of AC can keep up with that. It's just not possible. It's not that bad if you're at a if like you're at one with a high ceiling. Like if they've got a nice high ceiling and all the BO can like mm -hmm. rise away. Like if you're at like a convention like C2E2, it's the same deal, but you it doesn't smell bad because like it's in a big open space. But like a lot of tournaments are in like like cramped like sh you know smaller rooms that are like basically at full capacity with sweaty dudes. That's when it starts becoming a problem. But uh, and the, the Smash scene in Illinois, they share a room with the Magic the Gathering scene. It's just like a civil war between who smells worse. <laughs> <laughs> the other side constantly blaming the other side, and it's like like the two or three times I was there, it's like what? <laughs> Clearly, it's everyone. <laughs> Does no one wear deodorant? I don't get it. I don't know, but this is as much as I don't know if this is a Magic the Gathering thing or, or just a Springfield Magic the Gathering thing, but everyone is like at least five hundred pounds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Like they're all just like sitting in bean bags of their own self. <laughs> bean bags of their own self. <laughs> <laughs> it's like taking care of yourself and having unconventional hobbies are not like mutually exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Man, and that is a that is a stereotype in the Yu-Gi-Oh community too. People's Yu-Gi-Oh has a community. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh community. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> I mean, about? I thought it, it used to be the number one trading card game in North America. I think it. I think it's number two now. I'm not entirely certain about that. By Pokemon. Is it still number? Is it number two really? I. Oh, what else I, is there? It's Pokemon and Magic. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. I mean, magic by far. I mean, if you count Hearthstone, that's digital though. That's not a trade. Oh, I, I don't game. count Hearthstone, yeah. That that is a scam. <laughs> Hearthstone isn't a scam. There's no Hearthstone's fine. 
It's free. Oh. Isn't it? Nah, or is I've it cheaper? Kind of dying. I've been hearing a lot of complaints about how their monetization is pushing away newer players. Yeah, I've, become, I've, I've, I've heard it's yeah. become more aggressive. You, you pretty much have to drop up to $300 just to compete. And it's like, that's not even accounting for skill. That's oh, oh, like 300 You can make, a, you can make at least a top tier 2 deck with uh, not that much money, but not anymore. Like, if you want a decent deck. It's like, imagine you pick up Melee for the first time, and it's like, you just gotta, it's gotta put a, slide a $100 bill into the TV before it'll let you play. <laughs> I mean, you kind of had to do that for a while, right? If you wanted a, a controller that could dash back. <laughs> like 1% of GameCube controllers have the capability. So you have to just buy GameCube controllers until you find one. Yeah, I know about that. But now that, that, that's why they have this like UCF thing. Like it's like a mod for Melee that makes it so normal GameCube controllers can dash back. Hmm. That's basically all it does. But some tournaments still don't uh, allow it. Allow the mod, like Genesis. Makes sense. Which was controversial. I mean, Genesis also banned yeah. uh, like I, I, the big controllers. The, oh yeah, like the, the hitbox and whatnot. Yeah, which is frustrating. Well, they, they uh, is that recent? Of course you would swap sides on an argument now. <laughs> I okay. I originally I never had a problem with the Smash Stick. I didn't like like the ones that were all digital inputs because I was like, oh man, like SDI, it's gonna cause all these problems. But yeah, it it's fine. But how would you use the Smash Stick in favor of a GameCube controller? Ergonomics. Yeah. Ergonomics. A hundred percent. That that's that's that is the reason. Okay. Dude, look how many melee players are like have hand problems. It's it's staggering. Yeah. Like it. So much more options is better for the community. Yep. Assuming the options are accessible. Right, and and reasonable. I mean, obviously there could be very unreasonable options. Yeah. You know, like it's turbo buttons or macro or things that are just like all macro keys or like. Uh huh. You well, do have to draw a line somewhere, but... All other fighters let you use a, a stick, and they still compete just fine against people with controllers? Yeah. Like, but, I mean, to be fair, Smash has mechanics that other fighters don't, most notably SDI. Yeah, how would you wave dash with an arcade stick? I mean, you can wave dash with an arcade stick or whatever. Have you seen the, Easily? Have you seen the box? That thing is all. That thing is only buttons, no stick. I mean, in Marvel and Fighters, they have this thing called Instant Air Dash. It's practically the same thing. You just okay. don't have L. Yeah, yeah, that's not like, a problem. You can do any anything that you can do on a GameCube controller can be done on a stick. Probably better mm. in most in most cases. Mm. Like that's not that's not the problem. But like things like SDI with a digital input is kind of sketchy because like on a GameCube controller, SDIing like really good is super super hard but on like something like the box or whatever it's as simple as mashing a single button so like yeah that's that's like the questionable side of it but mm -hmm. like the the controller has so many drawbacks like that like the like those all digital input controllers have enough drawbacks that I think makes up for the SDI thing I mean when is is SDI even really that useful it depends on who it depends i mean, I mean if, if you're I, talking about melee I'm, yes i mean perfectly optimized compared to what they're can, can currently do uh no not not terribly in the fox matchup it makes some differences like you can sdi out of some shine stuff that you would probably that would probably not normally be humanly achievable isn't it pretty important for like players? so we don't die to fox up there yeah, but puffs, puffs are already good at SDIing out of that. But yes, if they were able to do it optimally, they'd probably be able to escape more frequently. Like, could yeah. they just put like a limit on the button? How many times it can be pressed in like a second? Yeah, but how do you like? Uh, how, how do you, you regulate measure? that? How do you decide? And then like, th fair. then what happens if they're trying to like use that button quickly for other reasons? 
and then like it starts dropping inputs on them because of that timer thing it yeah. you just have to either get over it and allow it or say nope it's got to be a stick that, that i guess that's what it comes down to or maybe when smash 5 ever launches <laughs> they'll, they'll have sticks integrated and they'll, they'll look at a new developer that's not samurai and he'll be like i want samurai? this game to be samurai? <laughs> I, I doubt that. <laughs> I'll be like, we're gonna add a couple stuff back from melee, take out the dumb stuff, put in a balanced ro- roster. Yo, Sakurai, yeah. Sakurai wanted well, Smash Four to have some competitive elements. He tried. Yeah, and he's an it idiot. does. <laughs> it does. Do you have, have you well, played it? Melee was the okay, biggest mistake. Two, two things: Omega stages and for glory. He does not understand the competitive community. That's true. Yeah. But that doesn't mean he didn't try. He did try. He just does not understand, and it's it's kind of painful. He brought he brought into the one v one destination. Hey, it's better than it's better than him just better than hating Brawl. competitive Smash like he did with Brawl and adding <laughs> tripping and tripping. getting rid of uh, uh, hit stun so there wouldn't be combos and like making he like got, they, they got rid of hit stun. Brawl has very low hit stun. <laughs> like wow, Smash Four has pretty low hit stun compared to Melee, but nothing like Brawl. All right, well, Melee's hit stun needs to be nerfed. Melee's hit stun, get, I think, is <laughs> you pretty... get stomped by Falcon in the middle of the stage, and it's like a full three seconds of just floating in midair. <laughs> and that's the same that's in Smash Four too. <laughs> that's <fine. laughs> that still holds true. It's Melee as well. You, you get shined by Fox, and you just kind of slide it. Across the stage, just in hits done. Like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> he'll just run up to me and do it again. I I don't think the hit stun is the problem with Fox's shine, Mitch. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that. I think I think they dropped the ball in other ways on that move. <laughs> Honestly, shine would not even be that good if you couldn't jump out of it. Like that that would be the only change yeah. they would need to make to make shine not nearly as good. Well, it just sucks. No, you can still use it to shine spike people. Then it, then it wouldn't be melee. Once that. But then Falco shines should still be jumpable. Because Falco's awesome. Nerf Falco's lasers, they're kind of ridiculous. Nerf uh, Bayonetta and take Cloud out of the game. Falco's lasers nah. are not that good. <laughs> at, at higher levels of play, anyway. Because then you just power shield everything. So it's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, Switch outselling the lifetime sales of the Wii U. Whoa. We talked about this last week. Oh, we did. Yes, we did. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, Anthem delayed to 2019. Lol. All right. Future of Sonic the <laughs> Hedgehog at X. Do they have a future? They had one good game, and that was only because it was made by people who didn't work for Capcom or whatever. <laughs> Sega. <laughs> Sega, that's it. Ter- ter- terp. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Mania is like a halfway decent game. What I've heard is like, oh, that's, two decent. Sonic that's the only good one they've had since like Adventure 2, and that one was only nostalgic. Hey, 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 hey. I-, I heard Colors is like. Oh, yeah, Colors, oh, like... colors and Generations. Hello? In Generations, yeah. Yeah, Generations yeah. was recent enough. Well, I mean, I think Mania was. On a whole different level. I, no one cares about Generations. They say it's what? good, but like it's not they're, com- true. they're comparing <laughs> it to other Sonic games. It's it's really just mediocre. And then oh, we, no, we, no, we, no. we got we got the sequel to Generations, which was complete garbage. Okay, well that was bad. Wait, I didn't even know there was a sequel. Forces. To yes. Forces. Oh, Forces is a sequel to Generations. I mean, yeah, it's not, know. but it basically is. Hey, it has young Sonic in it and old Sonic. Oh and yeah, okay. It's, and it's basically generations too. They just didn't want to call it that. Oh okay, yeah. And, and it sucks because it's terrible. <laughs> I heard it's mediocre. No, it it's, isn't. It's less. Than, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> like five minutes long. It's, it's uh, Sonic Boom yeah. tier. Like <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, there, that's are, Sonic Boom <laughs> is there is Sonic. actually terrible. <laughs> you you can beat that game in an in an hour by just holding down the attack button because they give you that that gun you just like spin around and shoot the whole way and you kill everything and you just beat it 
and then you return the game because you haven't played it long enough to no, no. get Son- Steam Sonic Eternals. Boom Rise of Lyric is in its own tier. <laughs> like, o- it, I, like O6 I, is better than Boom. Yeah, I think yeah. they're, they're all pretty much in that tier. It, it's They're all just terrible. I didn't know you were such a Sonic hater, Mitch. I'm not. This is just <laughs> the truth. I, I love Adventure 2. Um, okay. I never played Mania. I'll probably play it. The OG Sonic games are infuriating, but uh, they're all right. What? <laughs> Why infuriating? Three, three are high quality. Like, Green Hill Zone is always great, and then the rest is just like standing on elevators and waiting for stuff to to turn. Those are fighting words. Not, not true. Sure <laughs> I mean, you can shit on Sonic One. I don't care, but Sonic Two and Three are quality. I am games. only talking about Sonic One. Oh, well, I don't care about Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I have not played two and three in a very long time, so I'm not speaking about them at all. Oh, you can say whatever you want. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only Sonic game I've played is Brawl. Like <laughs> that doesn't count. It has a story mode where I have to play a Sonic. That does not count. That means you played an Earthbound game and a <laughs> a Pokemon game and and the Kirby and, game? and Metal Gear game, yeah. Well, I've played a Pokemon game. I played through like the first gym of of Emerald. Emerald. That's that counts as playing a Pokemon. Wasn't game. that a great time? No, yeah, it you sucked. wanted to die. <laughs> that, game, that game has not aged well at all. I don't. Yes, it did. <laughs> I don't know what. What do you mean? Yes, it did. <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. I I I, anyway. I I I get I get these little animals. They fight with a super limited move set, and I select things from menus and watch animations, and that's the game. You can, you can like... make a whole lot of games sound bad if you do what you just did. Why? That's every Pokemon <laughs> game. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, okay. To be fair, most Pokemon games don't have much going for them. I I mean, I don't um, like that style of fighting. I don't I don't like turn based turn based fighting. You, you don't want to turn you were RPG. doomed from the start. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I didn't know. I, I, I okay. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I didn't know. But then I so I gave Pokemon a chance, and it turns out I really don't. I mean, maybe maybe it'll get more interesting if I were to continue and the fights. It won't. Yeah, but that's the Not thing. Really. I hear Pokemon you games are just easy. Like so yeah, like they are. the well, only the reason the only way turn based combat is interesting is if it's difficult. If it's easy, well, then it just feels like grinding. Combat, it, with turn-based combat, it's either just too easy, or it's a brick wall that you could never hope to beat with skill. So you're either going to steamroll it, or you're going to lose. I mean, Earth, to that's not that's not there's true no, in like Earthbound. Yeah. Queen. Well, I mean, yeah, Paper Mario does that, where like they add action. To- yeah, and that's not, that's not theater really and stuff. Yeah, Paper Mario it's seems like a more wrong. interesting version of that kind of fight style. Yeah, because there's more to it than. There's more to it. There's more to it. It's a turn-based combat is essentially it's in the same tier as like fighting games where you play against an AI and all all they do is just read your inputs and they either decide you're they're going to let you in or you're going to lose. There's really nothing you can do on your end. Look, I'm another player. It's a whole different story. But the AI, yeah, it's it's their game. Yeah, I kind of agree with you on on like uh, turn-based combat being becoming stale and change change it up. Yeah. Like, I mean, Mother 3 changes it up. Because, like, like, there's, like, rhythm to it. Yeah, the, like, the goal of, like, like Pokemon tries changing it up by having a bunch of random elements. Like, that's I mean, it. the problem with Pokemon is once you get a setup move, you basically win. Because the AI is not very smart. Uh, I remember at Twitch Place Pokemon, they had their, like, level 12 Venonat. <laughs> it took out their, their Dragonite because the AI was so broken that the Dragonite kept spa- spamming moves against it that could not hurt it. <laughs> yeah, people think Gen 1's a... Well, Gen 1 AI it. is really bad. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just totally random. Yeah. And then by Gen 2, they actually introduced having, like, lethal damage. And if yeah. Have... Well, Gen yeah. 1, they were like, it's just Pokemon, whatever. And, you know, it's this new IP. And you're probably just going to sell to that AI. Eight kids on the neck down the block, and then everyone and their mother bought it. And they're like, "Well, I guess we should make another one and make it good this time." <laughs> yeah, I heard. Uh, like the Gen Two games were like, they 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 had to like rush the Gen One games, and Gen Two was like, what was what Gen One was supposed to be? Well, yeah, a that's lot why they had a bunch of, of Gen One in Gen Two. 
Yeah. Like, oh, let's just add some evolutions to those we never got around to finishing. Yeah. Kind of what they did in Gen 4, too. They was like, hey, even more. Just... Hello? I, th Hello? I, th well, I think Laron. Oh, everyone? Laron, your internet, like, in completely died, and we heard none of that. Yeah. I... Oh, I said Gen 4 made it worse. Got it. What did Gen 4 do wrong? Yeah, what did it do wrong, Laron? Let me hear the this. The extra evolution? Magmora looks like garbage. Rapier looks like garbage. Nope, nope. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, they looked like garbage before. No, 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 no. Mm. no Magmar is... Magmar pool. is garbage. And uh, mm. Rhydon's whatever. Yeah. I mean, the, the best versions of those evolutions are the baby ones. Because they're Mac so adorable. And then no, 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 no. Like, hold on. Mac Electivire is Flames. I will not let you talk, talk Flames. About. So, <laughs> so Magnezone Mag 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 belongs cool. in the dumpster. You know, I, I was in high school once, you know, believe it or not. And there was this kid playing Pokemon. He was playing the Crystal version. And he found a shiny Magmar. And I was like, holy shit, you got a shiny Magmar. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to try to catch it. And then he killed it by the critical hit. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> it's just, we just sat there. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, back then, you know, it was like, that was the coolest thing ever. Nowadays, it's like, it probably didn't have any IV, so it was probably worthless anyways. True. <laughs> Never tell you guys my first shiny was a shiny. Was a what? It was a shiny beating. Beating? <laughs> Our Lord and yeah. Savior? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't actually get any shinies until Gen C X, X and Y. I forgot what I got, but I traded it for a legendary from the other game. Mm. And then I turned the game off forever because I was like, this is actually not done here. <laughs> Sound like Mauricio. He never finished. Uh... X and Y. I beat it. Like I never oh, played Sun and Moon. It's like, I, I may sound like I hate the games, but like, I have enough nostalgia to get me through them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like how I can still tolerate Sonic Adventure 2. That game is fine because of the the little the little dudes. What are they called? Chow. Chow. Yeah, Chow, Chow Garden. Chow, Chow. Chow Garden is the best part about that game. No, yeah, there are I, I have have misguided people. Do I not let agree. anyone tell you Adventure 2 is a bad game. <laughs> They're just misguided. I mean, it's Don't dated. Do it. <laughs> Let's go with dated. I, I mean, Escape the City, best level maybe ever. <laughs> Except for all those others. Definitely contender, though. <laughs> but I mean, Sonic and Shadow levels, fine. <laughs> Knuckles levels. Yeah. Knuckles levels are terrible. <laughs> there is no way around terrible. that. There is no way around it. Terrible? Terrible. Pumpkin Hill and uh, Meteor Herd are not okay, terrible. The, the aesthetic, fine. Yes, the aesthetic's great. The the, the gameplay is terrible. Don't you just like that level? It's fine. Because of the song? Gameplay is fine. <laughs> Alright, the tails and, and... Those are kind of dry. Man. Those those are literally hold down A and release while walking. Yeah, those those are a little dry. They, they do all the work for you. Those are those are the boring, especially the one where you hit Eggman and you just ride three rides in space. What the chow? Yeah, can't really beat that. But yeah, point is, Sonic Team was high for like three months and then they did you ever <clears throat> dumpster called forces? What's the Sonic? <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, it wasn't the Sonic team that put out uh, Main. Yeah, Man. That, that was a bunch of Sonic modders who actually. It was Whitehead. And... That was base Chris Whitehead, the goat. Uh, did you guys ever see Alpha Rad's video where he did a Chow Garden and uh, his save got corrupted and everything just went crazy on him? No, I yeah. didn't. It's a good video. Yeah. But moving on. Soul, is that you? Past uh, Sonic, I think I think we're good on that. Uh, Super Bowl, Patriots lost. Lol. Superb owl is what that says. Yeah, superb owl. <laughs> Halftime show was weak. It was fun. Still, still have the subreddit for Super Bowl. It's actually just superb owl. It's just pictures of owls. <laughs> it's funny. 
uh, Han Solo movie. That's happening. That's going to be our, the next Rogue One, probably. Just a, a did movie. anyone else? Did anyone see the time. trailer besides me? No, nope. I didn't. I didn't actually realize that. I I read the comment section of a trailer that I didn't watch. Why? You read the comment section. <laughs> what do you? Hold on. <laughs> were you were you looking for some genius in there? Wait, the comment section of what? Reddit. The Reddit post oh, for it. Okay. Okay. That's a little yeah. better. It, it wasn't. Why didn't you I didn't watch the trailer. Because hmm? I was at, I was at work. I just like I was I was at work on the toilet. I was just <laughs> scrolling through stuff and I'm like saw it, but I didn't want to play the video, so okay. I just. Read the comments, and all the comments were like, "Please God, make this movie not suck." And everyone was like, "Nah, it's gonna suck." That was, I mean, that was if yeah. Like so... Rogue One, it'll be good. Rogue One's so far the best Star Wars movie. That's true. <laughs> Rogue One is, but like Rogue One was like all new characters, like basically like all new cat. Like Han Solo is like gonna have a bunch of care. I don't know. Okay, so reportedly. That's, that's I kind of wanted Mauricio to be a, to be here. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think those old characters live better in memory than they do in you know trying to expand on them more. Why do you think they're killing yeah. them all off in the new series? It, well, because they they are very expensive. Um. <laughs> 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 yeah, reportedly, uh, the Han Solo movie went through um, production problems. Like they they changed directors. Like very late into production and that movie was a yeah. mess like it w- it had its moments and it, uh, it was also just a mess it's the, the goku black arc of star wars the last jedi you mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's a narrative disaster in my opinion it, it, it's it's a beautiful disaster yeah yeah and uh han solo movie looks like it's following a similar trajectory based in in its production history anyway maybe cause, like i kind of blame the director for that the last jedi uh i ron howard took up the director the director slot well, all i'm saying is it's a it's a movie. it's a bad sign that in these four star wars movies they've had six directors it's kind of unbelievable <laughs> i mean well, they changed directors to the original other, trilogy other than rogue one were either of those two movies really like top tier the force awakens was okay the force awakens was episode four yeah that's like, why it was okay it wasn't even original yeah, yeah. rogue one rogue one was good like they, could do, any, they could do anything they wanted with like the one of the largest ips in the world they're like let's just do this again <laughs> like it's like the rival f of, of, of star wars <laughs> <laughs> well like right alongside that though now they're now there's talk that the the Game of Thrones creators are going to be making a Star Wars series. The who? The, really? the Game of Thrones creators. Oh, like, like the the, the the one, yeah, the TV series. Interesting. Which that would be something. I don't know. The Star Wars lend itself all to a series like that. Or are they just going to make another Clone Wars? I don't think it's going to be a series. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to be movies. More movies. Oh. I don't think it's going to be a TV show. If only we could get a good video game, but you know, EA. No. no, you know what the world really needs? This is a slight tangent, but a really good Harry Potter video game. There is so much potential there. Is like, there? Yes, like, oh my gosh, like an open world RPG like that takes place at Hogwarts. Or you do that what, go be... to school? Awesome. <laughs> Those are 90% just dicking around in school. You have magic. You can, magic and brute. There's, there's so dude, much. Dude, there's... Like, oh, millions of ips with magic yeah but the harry potter play, take place in schools but it's such a well developed it's a well-developed universe there's so much going on this you can make an interesting storyline well for a book <laughs> it's a good book not a good anything else the movies are awesome you don't like the movies, the movies are mid-tier okay okay hold on hold on the first two movies um, are like whatever uh three and four are great Five is fine. Six is six is pretty good, and then the last two movies are excellent. So like, uh... I've only seen the half war part, so I can't. Remember. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> That's only that. I saw the first four, and then the second half of the last one. So like, these are really so yeah. the spoiler movie. Well, I've read the yeah. books. <laughs> so it's I, I told you guys about my experience with like. I couldn't 
watch her eat it. Yeah. yeah. Aaron had the same problem, but she like the only movies she had seen in theaters was one, two, and then the eighth one. So like <laughs> Has she read the books? No, she hadn't read the books. No. Her mom just like, oh, oh, we should go see this one. Apparently they explain everything. Like, well yeah, why would you want to see it? <laughs> if it just spoils like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the movies did diverge quite a bit in the book. Rip Dobby. Yeah, they... Well, yeah. Kinda. Kinda yes, kinda no. I mean, they just left stuff out, more or less. Yeah. But more so than diverge. That's, that's how an adaptation works. Yeah, Some I mean, you have to. Book Those books are movie. crazy long. Like, they would be very, the first very long. It doesn't so. seem that long. The first book isn't terribly long. Yeah, they don't actually leave as much. Out. Those books, but they're still amazing. They're but like they're just very well written. It does not translate well. To, it just doesn't translate well to movies or games or really anything else. No, oh know. my gosh, they but games are so much books. potential. There's some good. There's some I decent guess. Star uh, Harry Potter games that were made, but like not since GameCube yeah. era. There needs to be like I want like a modern era Harry Potter game. I don't even care if there's not much you can do. I just want to walk around Hogwarts and explore and learn about magic and shit. Why not? <laughs> Sounds awesome. You want to learn about Harry Potter magic? Look up a word, convert it to Latin, and then here's your spell. <laughs> that that they stopped doing that after the first after like the first two books. Then she started like <laughs> realizing like, oh, I could actually like make a real story here, and then and then she did. <laughs> And then they stopped using like just Latin for everything, and they gave spell names, origins, and like the lore runs deeper than probably she originally anticipated. Yeah. Oh, that's actually part of the problem with Harry Potter is like it started as kind of a kid series and then totally didn't end that way. It grew up with the characters. Yeah, it, it grew up big time. Oh yeah. I mean, honestly, like, like the like the difference between uh, Chamber of Secrets and um, Prisoner of Azkaban is kind of stark. Why? Like, so a few people get brutally murdered. What? What's the big deal? Yeah, people start getting murdered. So, someone gets raped by centaurs. Oh. Yeah, Voldemort's back for real. Hermione becomes a bitch. Sounds <laughs> like I need to read the books. <laughs> Hermione, she's like the. I think it's the well, everyone has the tournament. She's like the only character who does anything reasonable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, he's like, I don't know why you people are jumping to conclusions. I, I don't think he, I don't think Harry was capable of cheating. <laughs> it's like, aren't we his friends? Shouldn't we be trusting? He's like, no, that son of a bitch, yeah. he's stealing our glory. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll read them eventually. Well, well anywho, uh, yeah, that was that's the Han Solo movie trailer. Um... <laughs> oh wait, okay. <laughs> 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 um, there wasn't a lot to there isn't a lot to say about it because it was, it it looks cool, I guess. Uh, Chewie's there for a second. You get to see uh, Donald Glover as uh, Lando, but he doesn't talk. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I have reservations for it because of the reduction of the Jedi disasters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Next topic uh, is whatever Mary said last week. Don't remember. Uh, next, okay. Poyo Poyo Tetris and Space Invaders Extreme coming to Steam. Oh, oh, that's me. What what you got? Well, all right, well, first of all, I don't even know if I'm in on Space Invaders Extreme because I don't think it has head to head online, and that was like the only reason I played that game on DS. Okay, what is what is Poyo Poyo Tetris? I just I need to. Well, Puyo Puyo is a is a different game, but it's like it's mean. Puyo Puyo and Tetris put together. Have you ever seen uh, Mean Bean Machine, the Eggman game? No. No. Damn. I know what Lorem's talking about. 
I I I know about Tetris. Well, that's that's the only thing I got anything about. There's like these little circular block things with faces, and you connect four of them together, and then yeah. you make chains, and that, that's Puyo. All right. So it's Puyo, Puyo, and Tetris in the same game. So you have to like, so you're 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 using Tetris blocks, but it's got those faces, and you make the links too, something like that. Well, Tetris blocks don't have faces. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I meant it for Poyo <laughs> Poyo. Never mind, apparently I don't know why, it. Why is that the issue you take with the statement? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, well, I just want to shit on kids. Tetris. That's, that's what I want. Okay. But so far, as what I've heard is that low middle-level play, Puyo, is better. Wait, how does you can this, just make wait, a chain and body the Tetris. Wait, how does this work? How does this work? You just... You play Tetris and you play Puyo at the same time, or you play... Yes. You can literally play Tetris against someone playing Puyo. What? But how does... In, in an online rated setting. How does that... How does that work? How does that... Clear lines, you get chains, and then there's mm. T-spinning, which is cancer. Yeah. And that sends garbage to the other player's side, and then whoever tops out first loses. Oh. It's like Pokemon Puzzle League. I'm surprised that that is balanced at all. It's somewhat balanced from what I've heard. I've heard, like, unless you're at the top, Puyo is better because making Puyo chains is easier. And in the, yeah, and in this picture, you can see the Puyo garbage isn't that big of a, the little gray blocks on the right. Yeah. Yeah, not like Tetris. You can kind of get around that and still make your chain. Tetris, you have to be fast and you got to make stuff before they make their chain or you just lose. So, like, top level Tetris players will win, but. Top level Tetris is nuts. Yeah. Like, that's a completely different level of existence. It's kind of unbelievable. But I also don't know what a T spin, so I don't know how important that is. Probably important good for at this game. higher levels. See, that's annoying. Then just play the just play Puyo. Or just Ew. I don't I suck at Puyo. I only played Mean Bean Machine and I never was good. I was like eight when I played that. There's like a billion mobile clones out there, so. I was five when I played. Mobile's not the same. <laughs> mobile Tetris isn't the same because they use no, the one touch. Thing. Mobile Tetris sucks. <laughs> TI 84 Tetris is the best Tetris I've ever played. All right. I don't know. I got nothing else on this. Go on. <laughs> Wow, you should ev- it's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars? Oh my god. Yes. Holy There's like wow. there's game modes, there's a bunch of puzzles. It's not it's not literally just play Tetris or play Puyo. You guys call like, me cheap. There's like content. But, yeah, but yeah. for twenty <laughs> that's, that's for twenty fine. bucks. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> like 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 Are you serious? are you really tripping over twenty dollars right now? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, twenty dollars What did you expect? This game is not a twenty dollar this is a five dollar game. No. That's There's more to it than just one online head to head. There's actual content. What do you But twenty dollars worth of content? I mean like it's not yes. like like I mean you could play any of those games on your browser for free. Right, that's the thing. These games are yeah. like there's that's nothing true. Like the game mode is the only thing that, that the game has to offer. Like the actual puzzle games in the game are not new or Well yeah. Like so but like, different it's hard to count game. those as part of the content. So like, what do you mean? Like, why wouldn't you count stuff like time attack? Yeah, like no, 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 no. The game modes, the game modes. I'm saying is the only content. I don't uh, know. What else are you expecting then? I don't know. I, no, no. I'm expecting it to cost less. That's that's what I'm expecting. You really expect this to be five dollars? Yeah. I disagree. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not five, ten. No. Oh, what was the original price when it was on Switch and PS? Probably like forty. I, honestly, I don't care because I'm never gonna buy it, even if it is free. So <laughs> they can do whatever they want. Kind of like how Angry Birds on Xbox. Is I think there are, there are like one dollar or free games that do most of this stuff. Like what? Like like well, I mean mobile games. So yeah, I was right. The Switch version is forty. Forty. Yeah. That's, Try a launch. That's disgusting. 
Launch was like months ago. I don't remember. Then exactly. again, one one two switch also costs. I think one, one two, two switch, switch was fifty, wasn't it? Yeah, that's fifty. That is one, actually like, that's a joke. Actually, yeah. like that's you cannot be that. tripping over twenty dollars for this game. Okay, yeah. Compared to one two switch, that that's a steal. <laughs> one two switch has objectively less content. I still don't understand why that wasn't packaged with the switch. Like Nintendo, you're crazy. Fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Fifty for a tech demo. Yeah. You are paying money for a demo they were gonna make anyway. <laughs> like they probably spent less money developing one two switch than they did <laughs> that giant robot fighters game that never got released that they talked about. Oh, in- and uh for, for all the weebs, the PC version has dual audio, so uh, hey. Hey. I don't really care, but yeah, uh, I'm probably not gonna buy this game, but <laughs> Man. Still, twenty bucks is too much. You you brought me up to fifteen game. though. <laughs> That's what I get for pitching a game. Fifteen, maybe. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I guess I guess as a side topic, does anyone what 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 do y'all think of the price of most games right now? Does it seem about right, or is it like I don't buy that many new games so i don't know 60 dollars is kind of a huge commitment and 60 dollars is cheaper than games used i mean to be. for what you're but all technology related things are way cheaper than they should be yeah and that's just how it is but yeah that's that's true you if i had more money i would buy more new games <laughs> but like like new 60 is fine it could be low in my opinion maybe 50 but like like here's it like video games cost less now than they did when we were kids oh yeah by like a lot and all that stuff Hmm. like because like yes the price is 60 dollars, but with inflation because because games used to cost like 40 to 50 bucks when we were kids but with inflation that would mean games should be about 70 bucks today well yeah and they are they do have their techniques to kind of do that is you know you buy a game and they they have all these season passes and whatnot and you're pretty yeah. much saying well the launch price is sixty dollars plus the twenty five for the you know, the season pass yeah yeah that's starting to hurt yeah <laughs> when so they're like really, hey yeah you're, you're not really you're not you're not getting the whole game for sixty dollars you're getting the whole game minus what they decided to either make later or take out of the game to sell you later. No, I mean when like, oh yeah, the game comes out five months from now, but let me tell you about our DLC plan. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Of course, the microtransactions start dipping into that. Yeah. Like Blast Blue Cross, whatever it's called. Cross tag battle. Half yeah. The cast, half the cast is not only DLC, it's like 90% of that DLC is apparently coming from old games. They made the Ruby characters free. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Show only, it's only four characters. They might as well put them all in. They could have expounded the roster for Ruby too. There's other characters in that show besides the main character. Yeah, but then they have to make more new characters. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I guess. I, I guess that trailer for the Blaze Blue where they introduced the Ruby characters. I n- I've never watched Ruby, but I had no idea the voice acting was so bad. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Rooster Teeth. Hold up. Fred vs. Blueberry voice acting is good. I mean, oh, there you go. I'm not going to go with Amazing. It's good, though. Like the Ruby's Ruby voice is fine. I-, I don't know if it's different in the game than it was in the show, but that trailer was just awful. <laughs> it's nothing special. But um, my boy, uh, I'm pretty sure Steve Blum is. Oh, right, Moreau. No, that's big. I know whatever. I forgot he say his name. Manana? Yeah, Crow's Crow's the yeah him. He's yeah. Crow's the best character. Yeah. I don't know about best character, but yeah, he has like the. No, nah, Crow's best. <laughs> close. Dang. But yeah, anyway, that's Poyo Poyo Tetris. Uh, twenty dollars. You should buy it. Comes out twenty seven. Yeah, that's a steal. Twenty bucks. You guys are crazy. <laughs> it's not a steal. All right. Uh, Krypton trailer. 
Okay, I think I'm the only one who saw this. I have no idea what it was. What is it? Obviously, it's a Superman thing and or Supergirl thing. Okay, so Krypton is this new show that's... I, I don't know what channel is coming on, but it's it's about the planet Krypton before it exploded. But it's about that's, Superman's grandfather. That's not his, not Jor El, his <laughs> grandfather. Uh, it's a, talking about that's, like that's a flop in the making. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People are like upset about it. From what I read in the, why are we Superman lore sh- lore a Superman lore show? We should be getting like a, like a real Superman show, you know. We got Smallville, and we have Supergirl, which is uh, an interesting. I heard bad things. It's, it's, it's bad, but yeah. <laughs> I, I've been watching it because I have nothing better to do, and because I, I watch all the CW superhero shows because I'm a scrub. But uh, <laughs> so the other shows all have this nice thing going for them, and Supergirl's thing is our our protagonist is a female. Yeah. Uh, what what can, what can we do to to make that more clear? I heard Tumblr's hoping they take the core out. Oh, she's a lesbian? No, 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 no. Oh, no that's saying that's, they're, hope, that's they're that's hoping. Her. Yeah, I, I, mean, well, I meant like they hope for her to be a, a lesbian. Spoilers. They have the lesbian character in there, and she's terrible, but... Well, there you go. Like, I just, just like all those shows have at least like one lesbian person or gay or whatever. Man, they they turned Captain <laughs> Cold gay and that into Flash. It's it just interesting. The Flash is gay. No, no. Captain Cold. Oh, okay. I he's see. one of the best. He's like one of the best Flash villains. That's just he's one of those characters who's on paper he is the dumbest thing. Like, but he is just he's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like a great person character. I don't know how to say it. But yeah, I, mean, I never got into with it. a gun that freezes things. Yeah, <laughs> nice. And I never that, got into the CW show. That, that's his stick. <laughs> right up there with uh, the guy with a boomerang. Captain Boomerang. <laughs> that's a clever name they got going there, <laughs> Captain Boomerang. <laughs> sort of like a Captain Evil or something. I don't think so. Probably. All right. Anywho, uh, I don't know. See, I, got... yeah, I saw the trailer. It's uh, it's something. I'll say that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, they like sprinkle the Superman symbol a lot in the trailer. You know, for obvious reasons because it symbolizes hope. I mean, we have a terrible Superman movie series. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible Supergirl show, <laughs> and now we have a t- well, it's probably going to be terrible. Probably, probably. Yeah, Krypton. Superman's grandfather done being ashamed, ostracized. That's the premise of the show. It comes out March twenty first, and it's on the side now. Uh. You know what else is coming out? They, they they started showing Black Lightning. Oh yeah, yeah, I That's haven't seen that. Literally just Luke Cage, but he has okay. he's mostly Invincible Lightning Man. Mostly Invincible Lightning Man. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. To, so so it's good if it's like Luke Cage, right? So far, it's not half bad. Uh, it, it's like only three episodes in, so it's really hard to say, but yeah. yeah. It's kind of pulling the. Well, okay. Well, the first season of Arrow was terrible. Uh, the s- first season of Flash wasn't half bad, and I gotta say, the first season of Black Lightning is better than the- those first seasons. So here's here's hoping. Okay. Th- those shows both respectively peaked a long time ago, though. <laughs> <laughs> Although the Flash, the current season of that, the main villain is not a speedster yet. So that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, isn't like yeah yeah. Like Zoom is like really important in that show or something. From what I well, the, the first season's villain was reverse flash. The second season villain was Zoom, who was just reverse oh, okay. flash. He wears a black suit. The the third season's villain was a uh, Savitar, which was just He's another he speedster, he yeah. Flash from the future. Uh, yeah. Current evil. Uh, pr- pretty much Goku Black if you think about it. <laughs> And then the fourth, 
well, and also in the third season, they had the rival who was another speedster. And then in the fourth season, they're like, no, nah, we're going to have a super smart guy who can't walk. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, he's a bat. He's a body snatcher. So everyone's predicting he's going to steal a uh, a speedster's body. It's only a matter of time, really. But then you know the the Legends of Tomorrow, their little spinoff with all the uh, what should call it? That that had a speedster for a villain, and yeah, yeah I have heard and nothing about the Legends of Tomorrow. They won't. It, it, it's not the best show, but it is at least fun. I've never heard only... of it until right this very moment. Yeah. Well, pretty much <laughs> you take all the side characters and put them in a time ship, and they're like, go do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> they have fun with it, though it's not the most well put together, and they brought Damien Dark back, who was the worst thing about Arrow. Well, I, I guess he was probably the best thing about that season of Arrow, where they it, the show was so bad that the subreddit turned on it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Did you know about that when I think it was season four? Maybe, yeah, I think season four. It was so bad that the subreddit for the arrow turned into a Daredevil subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it turned into a Daredevil subreddit. <laughs> Is that when, like, season two was happening with Daredevil? No, I think... Oh, I, I don't know about Daredevil. I haven't seen that yet. Okay. But, yeah. I should probably stop talking about those shows. This was about Krypton, right? I <laughs> we, guess. The, can we change the name of this one to Sidetrack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably a better name for the episode. I'll make, I'll make so the I, VOD I, I call. Guess, no, I, I think evolution fits, because we're evolving the topics as we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that brings us i think that brings us well into our last topic the another deadpool 2 teaser trailer it's just a tie dad <laughs> like they always are all right yep. well thank you guys you? for uh joining whoa, us whoa. <laughs> <laughs> i mean this movie's gonna probably gonna be like the last one i didn't see but, it but cable's in it he's in the trailer Make... and his green screen on Well, it's been great, guys. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> where's, the, where's the other half of our crew, by the way? Uh, Mary, busy, Mary, Mary said, hey, guys, why did you have it on Wednesday? What's wrong with you? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, repeat that? Yeah. Who said that? Mary said that, basically. No, she did. <laughs> no, she What? <laughs> All right. Mary, yeah, and then Mauricio just like, Oh, I can't make it. Um, Mauricio's probably Joe said. Terrible. Joe said like, "Oh, I can yeah. make that," and then never showed up. Um, I Joe, li the Joe literally said an hour before the show, like, "Oh yeah, I can do the show today," and then they just, just yeah, just. Oh yeah, Joe. Yeah, he, he never showed up. Yeah, uh, Chima just doesn't like doing this show or something. Well, at least we know who the core crew is. Yes, I think the four I of us. The four of us have been on every show. We should and... start having celebrity guests like Azu and. Uh... <laughs> oh man, I could have yeah, Azu and we could have Vro. He's a Most top one hundred player. Can we can we bring in Q? Yeah. He oh yeah, Q. Oh wait. What? Oh yeah, Mitch. Did he do anything? Wait, oh wait, wait. Answer? We'll we'll talk about it after the podcast. All right. Thanks, thanks everyone for listening. Uh, we'll uh, play you out with some. Fighter Z. Oh, hit me. follow the stream. Follow the stream. <laughs> yeah, shameless plugs. Um, Puyo Puyo Tetris incoming. Watch, yep, uh, so this week we were sponsored anime. actually by Evolution, e also known as Evo 2018. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we are also sponsored by Lays. Have a good night, everyone. Watch Rockwell Shinjo. Follow the stream. We all fly.